Getting ready for our next series of the day, which is RDU versus Toyota. This one's yep. uh, pretty cool. I've been hanging out with RDU all day, and he's really pumped for his matches. Uh, some people might be tired, but I think this is where you really find out where the boys separate from the men. <laughs> and why not get the three real men here on the casting uh, couch? <laughs> That's, That's right. nice, nice of you to say. Kind of late game gaming, yeah. That's right. So uh, this match, uh, I'm going to personally look forward to because I know RDU... He's very outspoken. He like basically uh, watches every game, every series, comments about the plays, talks about what he would do instead of his opponents. Oh, he's sorry, very instead analytical. Of the players. Hmm? He's very analytical. Uh, yeah, when absolutely. Comes to and uh, this time around, he's now he's the player. So maybe we can see if he's uh, living up to his own expectations. Because I think there are very few players out there who put pressure a uh, similar amount as RDU. Like, oh, yeah. RDU puts an amount, immense amount of pressures to perform. And Ignite, definitely, I mean, you were yeah. his former teammate as well in MYM. So yeah, you know. he, it's not about the money for him. It's definitely about winning and uh, making his own image and keeping up with it because it's really hard to keep up at the top when you're there. Absolutely. Um, so before we go a little bit too further and where you want to talk a little bit about yeah, what's going on here, so Lothar, why don't you go ahead and do it? Uh, you go to the Facebook page of Take TV, so you open the Noia tab. Go to facebook.com, take TV, and you scroll down. Uh, you find this, this post. As you know, we had a very special start with Kingwin, and this is a promotion uh, where you can win 20 euros for your balance on the east side or hard some packs. And uh, what you have to do is you go to the kingwin.net site and you look for those faces here. Those four. Abbas, <laughs> Forsen, that's Froden, right? That's you, right? Uh, is that me? Yeah, I think so. It is me. And That's this, right. My mustache is, is glorious. Who is this that? is Dennis. That has to be Crip. No, that's... <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, that's, that's Dennis. Dennis. That's oh, Dennis. Okay. Pretty that's funny. Dennis from Take TV. And when you find one of those faces on the side, you copy the URL of the side, and you just post it... Uh, whoops. And you just post <laughs> it uh, wow. in this link here. Sounds easy. Sounds easy. So you have to be logged in to the site. And you scroll down, and in this place... There's only 37 entries. Guys, your chance what? to win is really high. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Left. Well, 31, 31 minutes left. Yeah. They better hurry up. Yeah, it's like and going if you by <laughs> the minute. So uh, just go to the kingwin.net site, oh search for some faces, and paste the URL. We're about to stream Seption, dude. It. Oh, man. How far can we go? Oh, never mind. They didn't see it. But basically, <laughs> oh. on our screen, we're okay. watching a stream of the stream opening up the stream. <laughs> That's pretty cool. awesome. So hope you guys have been having so much fun. Uh, make sure to hashtag uh, Seat Story Cup 3, guys, and let everyone know about what's going on. Uh, personally, it's one of my favorite tournament series. Probably probably my favorite tournament series um, just in general for Hearthstone because I really love the atmosphere. Although it's really hard to pick one favorite because I generally like doing so many events. Definitely. Yeah. I haven't been to a house cup before, and uh, I'm definitely having a lot of fun. It's and good. it's really good to hang out with everybody. Everybody's so close. Yeah. And uh, it's a really tight environment. It's cool, it's man. Uh, what have you been up to, Ignite? You ha you're not on a team, right? No, I'm you're on team teamless right now. Shirt. What are you, like, vouching for me right now on, on stream? <laughs> well, no, I'm just curious. People want to get to Some people don't know who you are, unfortunately. Yeah, I've been teamless for, like, yeah. seven months. I will, used to be in MYM last With year. With RDU and Tice. Yeah, people, and the rest of the players, yeah. like Skip, Semiju, Kunzi. You were a captain yeah. of their B team, right? B team? There was no such thing as a B team. I was captain for a while. It was, it was uh, MYM was, like, Tice and RDU and then, like, everyone else. Oh, shots fired. Thanks, man. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, that, that's what everyone was assuming. I'm not, I'm like, like I'm captainship doesn't really matter in where you already have a manager, that's for right. example. So. That's true. No, 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 yeah, I'm just teasing, of course. Yeah, Ignite I qualified for a lot of events. Um, a few, yeah. Yeah, you qualify for a lot of events, and uh, now you're here as a qualified player, and you advanced first place in your group, man. That's really yeah, cool. Pretty good, Yeah. To, to be honest. I, had a, I felt a lot of pressure coming here because I'm paying for my own expenses this time that's around. That's right. But and, you're, um, is top 16 guaranteed some money? No, top eight? only top 8. So oh, I got so another group stage to, to get my money back. And I hope it goes well, as well as it did today, at least. Oh, <laughs> man. Hashtag feed ignite. Uh, how's, you actually, this year, are you allowed to compete in BlizzCon? Because one of the yes, things that was really funny was that the two of the best players on MYM, yeah, you and, 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 and RDU, RDU couldn't yeah, even compete couldn't, in BlizzCon because yeah. of regional stuff. But we can now. There's okay. Like Romini can, Greece can, which they couldn't before. I think the right. Czech Republic couldn't either, and they can now. Wow, that means Rania can finally compete in <laughs> Hearthstone. No now. way. We have yeah. to t tell that to Crip. Alice as well, right. for example. That's and good. Before, that was really holding your back, you know. So. 
Alish uh, from uh, Czech Republic can now too. Yeah, exactly. Well. Cool stuff, man. So hopefully it opens up the field to the competition a little bit more. Definitely will. And uh, we'll see it this time around. Did you guys get a chance to ch uh, chat with Toyota and RDU at all before their match? No, they're both uh, friendly, very friendly for each other because they I've been know hanging out with the, Toyota the, all day, actually. Yeah, but, uh, he's a cool he's guy. He's feeling pretty confident. He's just he'd rather not talk about it and just get to it when it's time to. Yeah. So he's pretty serious about it, and I hope he can put fourth a very good performance. He lives like five minutes away from the <laughs> venue, and yeah, uh, his family, his, but yeah, his but family really and his close. girlfriend came with him to support him. Mm -hmm. So it's and really his dog cute. too. His dog. Yeah, I've met his mom. Yeah. Is she's oh, really the, humble. the that was his dog. Is it a husky or something? Or I don't know. It looked. Yeah, it was it's a really kind of like a husky. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure because I only saw it for like five seconds, but that mm -hmm. was his, huh? Yeah. That's cool, man. That's pretty cool. Well. I mean, RDU doesn't have quite that support. I wish he wishes his mom was with him. I'm with him. <laughs> I'm with him. That's I, good. I you're the, you're, you're him. his team yeah. mom. Yeah. His team mom? So team he'll dad. say hi to you later. He's got a, a near okay. dress here. Like, All right. this new suit is fucking amazing. It is, man. You guys have some uh, pretty sick gear. Yeah. It, is there someone responsible for the fashion design? Is it Kungan? Yeah, <laughs> me. You, you. You do the fashion really? design. Yeah. 100% Lothar. What? Did you come up with this idea? Well, I didn't sew it. I mean, uh, yeah, no, no, no. but like you, the idea of being like, it. see my dress. I think Lothar yeah. designed it perfectly so it fit his <laughs> body shape. He said, you know what? I have to make sure to accentuate, you know, the shoulders yeah. and make sure the back has room for my snake muscles. Uh, mm. Snake muscles. Makes sense. I mean, that's, it's sense. Like, there's like pythons on the back of this guy. You can't even know. All right, we got to go to the, the first game here. Enough of me. Enough. Uh, Spectate to rage. I'm speaking right? on the so right. I'm speaking on the right. Yeah, okay. RDU. Um, all right. This one should be Let's good. We don't actually have the classes. We've been just, uh, you know, here's the um, shooting the, the notebook of, oh, the book of but he didn't make any notes about those two. Oh, that was good, man. Could we nice get some kick. feedback though? Perhaps eventually. I was holding the punching bag, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really sad they didn't animate yesterday when Raynad punched through the styrofoam. They only had the still of it. Oh, it was bad. really good. So like we we took like four major. takes of it. Oh, they showed oh, it on the Tiana thing. I was casting with RDU. So we have, uh, looks like what, t this Tempo Mage. Tempo Mage from Toydis, yeah. so. Versus Druid. And How do you think Tempo Mage counter? Do you think it counters Druid? Yeah. It, it's, um, it's I haven't a hard, played much of it, for sure. It's a hard counter. Hard counter? How much harder than Mech Mage? Hmm. Well, it's uh, does the same essentially, job, maybe? essentially about the same. All right. I want to see it in action, actually. Is there any true difference in... The way Tempo Mage approaches the Mech Mage, I think it's just Mech take Mage the is board. Aggro -ish. More aggroish, I yeah, mean, because I you got so. more twos and you actually got ones. Whereas here you rely on Zombie Chows and Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh, probably. okay, it's not the Tempo Mage as like, you know, a it's cookie tempo. cutter. There's an anti cube bot. I didn't see so that like at all. It's one tech card, I suppose, but it's still the, the Tempo Mage concept. Maybe he doesn't want to play Kazan Mystic, and he still wants to be good against aggro. This might be a example, yeah. Fatigue Mage or something like no that. No way. With Kirin fatigue Tour. Mage with Kirin <laughs> Tour. Why not? Why not? Why not? I mean, you're right. It could but, uh, be. Maybe not Fatigue Mage, but Echo uh, Echo Mage. Echo oh, Mage. Mage. Something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's plausible. Like value Mage is what they called it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, the Pilot Shredder Innervate, pretty annoying, but. You know, that's what Druid needs to do, take advantage of the early game tempo. What do you, you think know, about this unstable portal, though? What if magic happens and we get new cards? Oh, dude, what if it pulls into the future and gets uh, <laughs> Nefarian? Or something. <laughs> yeah, and it pulls, Nefarian pulls, like, the combo straight <laughs> out from Druid. That'd be awesome. Yeah. You know, uh, you can't um, pull Nefarian, but you can pull Measure Dome no. right now, which is not You're legal right. for top 32 or Actually, 16. that's so funny. What happens yeah. if it pulls from wing 2, which is not legal at the moment? I heard about some events last week in UK, I think, that they had that situation where wing right. 1 was not allowed and somebody in Sable Portal Thorson. And <laughs> that's crazy, dude. They had to play it. Like, you're not going to disallow that, right? You're not right. going to well, card I guess the, the You just spent two mana. The what truth is do? it's not in your deck list. Exactly. So, yeah. You, you can definitely get tokens, quote-unquote, yeah. of cards. That's what you can... I guess. Oh, he went only for one point of damage. Interesting. Chewy. Well, his hand is pretty poor. Yeah, I really wanted to cycle that one. What's he going to do on next turn, Lothar? Does he's going to rapid do here. What do you think about that? He's going to innervate into something yeah. that gets mirror into, dude. Unfortunately. Oh, right. There's that. All right. I want to see uh, I want to see Mojo Dormu, <laughs> or I would like to see uh, Imp Gang Boss. That card is Imp sick. Gang Boss. Yeah, Especially with the mage hero cool. power. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. control the board. <laughs> Oh, oh nah, that's, that's not very relevant versus Druid. What but I'm going to get on board. It's a free free for free, so you do yeah, it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's still decent value. Two mana, three, three. Yeah. yeah. You have to use a ref on that. Mm. On the yeah. Chugger, though. 
I guess it's not really relevant unless your opponent plays Dr. Boom on a board. And even then, it might be just Dr. Boom. Yeah, it's really situational yeah. to hold on to it. So, and you'd rather get the early game board presence. This this deck relies a lot in this matchup yeah. the same way as it, just like you said, it pincers the Druid the same way Mech Mage does because Mirror Energy locks them from being able to play mm -hmm. strong minions without taking too much damage. It's the best Temple card in the Mage versus Druid for sure. Absolutely. Shade of Exxon. So you give, give him the Shade and you play the Wrath. So it's a perfect combination of cards you can use on turn 5. And you use the Emperor on turn 6 most likely, but this is still a problem. Because the Shade will grow to a size when he will be just trading for at least one creature from the Druid side. And right. the value of the Mirror Entity is much, much uh, higher, yeah. higher than the uh, creature itself. Yeah, that Shade might just trade into the Mind Control deck and that's pretty, pretty shady, I guess. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, it's also worth noting that last time when we were here at Seed Story Cup, both me and Toyda were practicing together. And oh, that's we right. You were teamless at the time. Yeah. No, no, no teamless. I was, uh, I was in Plant Key Dynamics. Were you? Yeah. Yeah, you were in there for a long time. Oh, that's yeah. right. You had that white jersey. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And uh, <laughs> That white jersey. I don't know why I remember what you wore, but <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me. Oh, man. And we are both practicing together. I'll, I'll save you this one. Right, uh, and uh, we we both played a Temple Mage back That's then. That's right. It was, yeah, I remember a, it was that. a lot it was a lot different than this one. Yeah, there was not as there much G V G cards. Mm -hmm. And there was no unsaid portal, which yeah. changes a lot in yeah. this in right. this deck. It's a very good card. Yeah, but in general we were playing basically this deck, but without the new cards. How important I mean Nourish, then. I feel like Nourish is cool, but he already has so much draw with Ancient of Lore anyways. Do you agree with the shade being unveiled by the mage? I think so. You have to do it because if wouldn't the shade trade into one of those three threes anyway, and you could keep your four four shade next turn? Mm. He would still be tempted to trade anyway mm. into a three three. Mm, yeah, you know, that's, so. that's a really good point actually yeah. because those now that shade, really matter. the shade won't won't be able to contest as easily for the, whatever your opponent drops next. If this yeah. ancient lord comes down, yeah. then you can't just ping it and then gain whatever you play for you next. So that's a pretty valid concern. I, I guess the damage is somewhat negligible too, right? Because you'd rather just care about the board. Yeah, that's also true. It's a very good turn from the mage yet again. You get the Waddle Mantle out. He has a pretty nice board versus Druid. And he's got a coin Ragnaros on turn 7. Coin Ragnaros. If he hits the Lord, he's golden. Too. There's no BGH yeah. either on Deal the Druid it. side. Yeah. Well, um. Here in Tormage is a little awkward. So I'd rather. Yeah, the re coin Ragnaros is Rag, fine. Right. Yellow. RD will have two ch two draws that uh, that can salvage the situation. One, of course, is the big game hunter. Second one is the force of nature, yeah, which you can use the with the combo for yeah. on turn eight. Other one will be second swipe, so three draws that can kill the Ragnaros instantly. Second swipe, though, it doesn't cl deal with the rest of the board. I mean, that's assuming that he doesn't lose his ancient lore, and the board is really difficult to deal with. Well, uh, although I think you're okay with nine. either outcome, right? Wow. <laughs> so RDU, RDU always says his rag goes to the face. It's just like, whatever happens. <laughs> oh, sorry, Toy. Oh, that was, yeah, that's no, toy yeah, that was rag. Toy Sorry, toy. I have this be names mixed up. Well, uh, this is going to be really <laughs> difficult if he can't remove rag immediately. And if well, he does... Well, he has... He might shred or swipe, bro. Right? right. Yeah. He'd rather leave rag than this water elemental, huh? Because it's just yeah, so much definitely. low HP. Such low HP. The really damage. Damage. Because you're swiping anyway, the most valuable trade is into the mm -hmm. 3 6. But then Ancient Lord's frozen for a turn. Man, that feels terrible. It most likely will be killed by the rag. That's what you're hoping for, at least. Oh. Uh, so he changed you, his you mind. You can swipe and then and keep her. Yeah. But Waddle Metal survives. You're also on Fireball to lose. You're not yeah. banking on face thinking anymore, that's for sure. But uh, the fact that you're frozen is kind of annoying. 3 5 point. creature, that's. You have no answer to that creature. Yeah. Something that we didn't mention was how much damage this mind control tech ended up doing and being able to absorb. Pretty good beatdown card, right? <laughs> right, and that was just off the unstable portal. And the so. mana firm is also a great draw. It's really a great draw because it just yeah. puts pressure. One mana to three seems like a good deal. What do you mean, like just flame strike right away? Yeah, I would do it. Mm. Feels costly, but uh, the thing is, even if you mana worm mm -hmm. and you freeze the face. Oh, the keeper's not going to be able to clear the mana worm. I think you'd ra I'd rather play the current. Yeah, range. yeah, the current yeah, turn is better. Because if he has Sludge Belcher, then you can get through easier, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I don't disagree with the Flame Strike. I just think that uh, 
Men won't, won't be killed by the hero power anyway. So you're, oh. you're doing a good job at preserving your bard. Well, that's a little bit ironic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The mind control comes in, considering the mage played it and his three minions on the board. It's pretty interesting, though, that he chose to right. run mind control tech. Ah, and Nourish. Man. Okay, so Toyota from here has four damage. So Fireball is still lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. There oh, there it is. So that wraps up the first game pretty quick. Just get it out of the way. Druid versus uh, the Temple Mage is going to be really tough. Anyways, Good call by Toyota here to open up yeah, with the Mage. Definitely. Because um, Toyota, ha Toyota's Hunter was banned. He got yep. he has Shaman and what was this, the third oh, class? I lost the yeah, you can see it. Yeah, uh, didn't get an opportunity to look. Meanwhile, RDU still has his Mage, or sorry, his Druid plus Hunter and uh, Mage, I believe. Well, we we'll see in a second. Otherwise, it's going to bug. Oh, the okay. Mode. All right. So we got to leave it and then... Uh, and rejoin, yeah. Once rejoin. they go into it. All right. Well, uh, I think that matchup is just really tough in general to overcome. The mirror entities just win the game. Definitely. Unless you run, like, double zombie chow well, or druid and got other baits for, for the mirror entity, it's going to be pretty rough. Yeah. Match right. is uh, ready, I think. No need to rush, man. <laughs> need a rush. I know it, the first. <laughs> I know Nimsh versus uh, Wealthy Druid took a long time, or Zany Druid, right? Johnny Druid. Johnny, 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 Johnny Druid. Johnny Druid. Arthosis was saying Johnny. I was like, Johnny. okay. Oh, You're man. Polish. How do you pronounce it? Johnny. Johnny. Johnny Druid. Okay. Johnny Druid. So Anyways, that one took see forever. Shaman from Toyden. It's pretty unconventional decisions, like bringing Shaman and Tempo Mage. He's in general. Toyden's like a guy who likes to go against the green yeah. a lot. He's very interesting to watch for sure. We yeah. see Mech Mage from RDU, just like every single Nihilum player, right? That's true. Oh, uh, I think so. People, yeah. you people think don't so? know. You think you brought Mech Mage? No, no, no. I, I, I was thinking if Life Coach is playing oh, Mech Mage. Makes sense. And he has been he, playing it. I a believe lot. Life Coach is playing Mech Mage. He yeah, has this he, insane he series. He had this absolute oh. absurd series against Maverick. I think it's the best uh, uh, series. I heard of he the roped himself to death. He did. So, what happens in that series uh, is it looks like Zombie Chow would be play turn one. Yeah. Um, it was like every game, games one through four, had multiple turns where it was like both players were off by one or two damage of lethal, and it was really close. And they were playing around each other's cards perfectly because they were making reads that were abs were like spot on. Mm -hmm. And um, like it, it was so good. And then you know, Life Coach made like one minor mistake, ended up potentially costing the game. Who knows? But in the end, the big mistake that he made was that he had the opportunity to, to play Sun Fury, Sun Fury on Molten yeah. Giants. And he just ran out of time, yeah. so Sun Fury never came out. That's he one of the rough, roughest things. Yeah, so like Not just, being able just to, to play up. such an intense back and forth series and then to rope and lose like that yeah. is uh, soul crushing. Life coach had to Ooh, go he got take the one walk. one, so he can trade now. This that was interesting. Was why, very good. why Radu would play the Snow Tracker just instead of pinging Not the Zombie pinging. Chow? I'm thinking about it. Because he... He wants both to trade rather than just one. I guess he doesn't want his opponent. Shouldn't he want that? So he can pop a four? So well, you, you play around without flame tongue being uh, yeah. An you play around the flame tongue totem. Yeah. That's that's the only thing I can think and then of. Then you got a blast mage to follow up as well. I think now you no, play, Yeti, doesn't play Yeti. Around. Now you play Yeti, for but it, sure. it doesn't play around Brock Biter, but it plays around flame tongue totem. And Felter Shredder doesn't play around. No, you Fla like flame tongue here because the, the two drop survives at least. Whereas Yeti just dying a lot and you have nothing on board is kind of worse. What about well? <laughs> Yet, <laughs> Palace of Treasure is weak um, to Airshock. Airshock also. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So and which... And yeah, Toyota has, has, has it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but it also disrupts his turn, too. He'd like, he'd like to play the Shredder as well. It's really good to Earthshock these targets, though. There's so much value. The thing is, he doesn't have to Earthshock now, does he? Why not? Or I guess he does because of, of Goblin Blast. So you want it's one of those things where, like, maybe if your opponent makes the trade instead, then you can Earthshock after. So you want to drop an Electron and Totem? No, or I'd rather Shredder. drop Pilot Shredder just because yeah, you don't that, want to miss it. You know there's Blast Mage. That's, that's a big threat. That That is the big concern, Because he though. can trade into the Harvest and get the 2-1 uh, yeah. killed. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Then the Shredder does contest the Blast Mage, though. So, I don't know. That's a pretty hard call to make. Yeah, it does contest because the Blast Because if you don't want to Earth Shark here, you also have the same logic of wanting to use a 5 drop on 5, and you got the Belcher. So you got to do it eventually, so... Is this a, the right turn? Maybe you annoy Tron to protect your 2-1? Protect your 
Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, it still can get reached anyways. You're not really protecting it. You're just the... Uh, oh, right. You're trying it's to bait not even opponent. Druid or something. Never right. mind. Sorry. But, you know, conveniently, because of it, he's going to have to let it live because of the, the, the mana. Yeah. Flame Tongue now will be pretty good. Insane. The Hex is also a very good answer right now. We see that there's a Doctor Boom. In there's no second Hex or a big board for the Shaman. It's going to be pretty hard to deal with it later. I think Toyda might go for Harrison Jones here. Or maybe for Belcher. Belcher Do you not want to kill okay. it, though? If you played around Blast Mage last turn, I think you should keep on playing around it because your board is even weaker. I, I don't to think Blast he Mage was now. playing around it. He, I think he was just playing for the value. Because after the value could come later, though. The the thing is, if he would play the Palted Shredder, the, then the Palted Shredder would just trade for the Palted Shredder, and he will have no value from the Aftershock anyway. Yeah, but there, I, the thing is, the Shredder never trades for the Shredder in the Mech Mage versus Shaman. You trade for the Arvis and then you Blast Mage, so you kill the two one. Well, Artie hmm. has a couple of weak turns here, just because he doesn't have any Mech with the God Blast Mage. And uh, Dr. Boom's still a couple of turns out. Well, the mirror entity is It's kind of like Locks Toyde as well, though. He yeah. doesn't want to shred it because that's a mech. And enables Blast Mage. Although, if he wants to play a minion, Harrison is definitely the best option. But he has no way to clear it. Just his own Harrison. He can, though, like, Shredder Storm next turn. And if he gets spell damage this turn, it's pretty good. Yeah, and if he Shredder Storms, he'll have six minions. Yeah, so he should be fine. 33% yeah, to get spell damage here that's for great. next turn. Hmm. Seems like a okay decision to just get It's turn. scary to not build the board though in anticipation yeah. for like the pilot like pilot sky golem or something and then it just <laughs> If you play the Harrison you can also Harrison it's going to lose one dem one HP to Anoyatron yeah. and maybe you you got the 50/50 Storm works yeah. somehow yeah. yeah fair enough It feels like losing four points of mana with with such a tempo style of deck you can afford that to Yeah do. he's going He's feeding the major board so he can clear it after. What do you think? What do you. I don't know if it's better to force the mage to pink so he can get through the Anoitron, or if you could trade the bubble right now so you force the Harrison to take two damage. What I do you think, think about you that? I, I think you should attack face, but now is a. You don't really care about the one damage, that's for sure. But it, going face forces him to pink if he wants to clear it. Yeah, that's okay. There's so many four drops, though. It fits the curve for Mech Mage. But he already used one Piloted Shredder and one Yeti. Hmm. And one Yeti. Yeah, you're very true. That's very true. So I still like Naked Blast Mage here, though. With an Aeotron, you mean? I'm not sure. Like Naked Blast Mage and ping? Or an no, Aeotron Blast Mage. You're going to ping the Aeotron. Allows yeah. what, what, it's a pretty high chance, right? What about just dropping Cockmaster or an Aeotron with Frostbolt pinging? Uh, with um, Frostbolt Ping in the, the Harrison If you Frostbolt Ping, you don't Cogmaster. Uh, I mean the Anoitron or yeah, Cogmaster. Yeah, yeah. But then the Anoitron still lives because they don't bubble it off. It's fine like this because after trading, you can still Frostbolt next turn, but you, there's a boom as well. You don't want to Frostbolt. So Toyota has a ha second now. Hex. Yeah. yeah. But at if the same time, second hex leaves him really. We know it's better to keep it for sure. Yeah. So can he make that read yeah. that he should hold on to it, even though it might be better for him to perhaps set it up so that way it's stronger board for him. It's tough because everything else gets contested by the five damage. It kills the Belchers pretty easily, and the pilot shredder is not going to have a high impact if it comes on a board like that. I guess it does trade up against everything health wise. But then your opponent drops Dr. Boom and goes phase, and you're just sad. Uh, yeah, that's 10 damage on board as well. 11. I don't know, the Storm definitely is not the play here. I don't think you can allow the storm yourself so to get 10 points too. of damage. Yeah, 10 points. You can belch your hero power, and you're literally preparing them for the AoE. Think about that. The problem is you lose tempo of that play. How do you lose tempo? Because your part of the uh, loses one turn. Like Belcher is active the same turn he's being played. Yeah, but if you want to protect yourself, only Belcher does that. Treader doesn't. Well, you should have played the Hex. Totem first. No, no, Totem first to see the outcome. Oh, yeah, of course. Y you got the Taunt Totem, then you played Pulse Treader, I think. You still take six. Seven, yeah, but that, that you, it's you five make yourself. Of course, but yeah, but you play the, the Belcher next turn and you can pair it that with Hex. I feel like the 1 2 is also relevant, though, if he's going to Lightning Storm next turn. Because then you see that mage can reversing switch frostbolt on the 
on a Belcher. Mm-hmm. But True. no. Okay, so here's the Harrison. Take Drops the spider tank, I suppose. Will he use the Harrison? Will he play around uh, the the lightning storm? Because it I don't think so. Oh, oh. That's rough. You gotta think that Shaman can ping. He's probably not thinking about the storm. The fact that Shaman can ping is so strong sometimes, mm. and he's being greedy about that. No, he. he I, I think he just saw the mistake of not not uh, attacking Harrison first into the Belcher. Well, yeah, he can true. he can go now Harrison it's, into the totem. It's still and the same thing. Like you know, like Fire Elemental could pick it off pretty easily. You don't care about a Fire Elemental turn though, if you get to keep the rest of your board. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like that's why he wouldn't want to trade in yeah, okay, the Harrison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he traded in Harrison, then the Goblin Blast would be. He would five, only have one five. five three, yeah, it makes it sense. Sniped. Wouldn't just Toy the play the Harrison before? In Fire Elemental, I actually feel stronger because the six yeah, five yeah, hit yeah, support. Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying, Luther? No, never mind. Oh, okay. I was wondering if Toddy wouldn't play the Fire Elemental on two turns before that. So well, I'm saying, I guess that's true. It's a good he point. Had a yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah, so oh, you know he didn't entity, have right? it. Yeah. Was it Mirror Entity turn? No, no, no. no. Some other turn. Oh, okay. Harrison was at turn five. What do you think here? Do you Shredder Storm and leave the Spider Tank up? It has to hit the Stone Totem. Wow. But the thing is, your Shredder is forced to trade it to Spider Tank. Oh, he now hits he, the... Now he's doing another 50-50. Two 50s. The 50. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he doesn't get it. So. He misses. Anoyotron stops it though. Guess he's not the best shaman in the world. You gotta use an Anoyotron to ping as a shaman. I feel so bad. Snow Trugger. Well, well now you have to. Oh. True. Yeah, he's going for boom, obviously. Man. Not going for the ping. This will meet the hex. Yeah. Well, that's There's still no problematic. Yeah. Whoa! Ooh. You got Shredder Hex, that's pretty good. How do you deal with that as a mage? You have to ignore it, right? Uh, the seven, there's fireballs. Yeah. Just like you deal with boom usually, I guess. Problem is, Neptalon just helps you out card your opponent so yeah. well. Like, this is the exact scenario you'd want Neptalon. Yeah. Well, maybe not exact. Ideally, your opponent wouldn't have Dr. Boom on the board. But yeah. <laughs> if you could pick a scenario in terms of like the card advantage. Imagine you had 10 meta this turn, though. Right. Oh, you're right. That would have been crazy. Yeah. Even though Neptalon does cost 10 mana total. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, um, Toy is doing a good job holding out far to use aggression. He does. He's still a does a fireball. And the mage only has two life cards left. The other one's a spare, a spare part. And he's forced to trade eventually. Like, he's losing cards very fast. He didn't opt to kill the spell power totem. That's interesting. Well, spell power totem, matter. I guess. There's only one eight minion with right. 3 HP, which is already a coin flip. And one storm wow. is out. You can't really play around the second AUE when there's only two of them. That's a perfect turn. Fair yeah. Spirit is really good. Although, what's so funny is, like, the Cogmas living with one HP is also annoying because it trades easily into one of the wolves. Yeah, yeah, that's really true. And then, of course, Boombots might so do Boombot things. I think you might not, not even feral this turn. What if uh, Boombots single-handedly take out Neptulon? <laughs> that's, that's why I wanted him to take out the totem. Because you limit the amounts of targets for the bombs. Ah, yeah, enough. that's that makes sense for sure. And we Ooh. get a Grim Scale Oracle, two Merc eyes. I think you played a Tide Hunter. What? Yeah. And the Oracle, two, and you get that's plus nuts. one. Look at yeah, this. You got three tokens on board here. Wow. And and you have. Man. This is so good to fight off the the other tokens. I gotta say, that each Merc has tokens. four attack. The tokens have been so annoying in this game. They're on not both gonna sides. survive though. You're gonna get pinged off, I guess. This at least a two one. Quite amusing. Well, I mean, it, that, look, that uh, that four three is attacking the frog anyway. Just get it out of the way. There's no way you leave that frog up for any reason. Yeah. Okay. Here goes the frog. He's gonna feral. Really? If he doesn't feral, then his opponent might be able to pick up really good trades with uh, against Neptalon. You don't really care if you got four Morlocks behind you. Though. Oh, that's uh. You got charging Morlocks to trade dick with ever. He still has Fireball right now, but I guess he's just going to evaluate after he uh, attacks. He can clear the wolf. Oh, uh, see? Okay. Uh, right, that so now he pings it and then attacks with the Boombot. Don't you want to ping the Lampetulon to kill oh, it? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Wow, oh, that's awful. So you Fireball Netalon then. <laughs> that feels so long. Yep. 
I wanted him to attack first the snow trucker into the one of the wolves and then ping. Yeah, me too. It's pretty rough for RDU here. He's uh, only got his board left. Still can draw into his Antonidas. That's oh. his last If he gets stealth and draws Antonidas, he can win the game, but otherwise there's no win condition, I believe. Now you can trade for he the no whole board cards. and still have more luck. He's more got luck so up. many. He got so much life too. There's no way Which one do you can freeze? do. Shredder or Murkai? Shredder. You want the Murkai to attack next turn because you will play three more, three yeah, more yeah, Murlocs. Yeah, that makes sense. He's gonna get buffed. And each Murloc has plus one attack. Mm -hmm. Also, what's somewhat nice is the um, the heal, the healing totem. Yeah, it's very That's nice. really clutch. Yeah, denies definitely. your opponent an easy ping to. It denies every it. single ping. Not the ping to the face. <laughs> if Not that one, but you got you can take twenty four of those, right? Yeah, so <laughs> I guess uh, I guess toys on a twenty four turn clock. <laughs> hmm. Sounds reasonable, I guess. Yeah. It's pretty fair. I wonder. There was a card in Yu Gi Oh that said uh, was called Final Countdown. Yeah. When it's he like played you played it, losing thirty turns or something. Twenty turns. Twenty turns. And it counted one turn for you, then one turn for your opponent. After uh. twenty turns, if it didn't kill you, you won the game. Just outright. Did you play a lot of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, from 10 to 15. I was like top three in my country. Not that it, it was much, but... Uh, top three in Portugal? Yeah. yeah I don't know why <laughs> I, I guessed any other country, because that's... <laughs> it's not like you're from two countries. Okay. <laughs> but... Or yeah, I you? played quite a few there back gotcha. then. I love the atmosphere, like going out to your local shop and playing cards. Oh, yeah. I loved it. It's really that's fun. why. Like Plus, you actually can do the whole heart of the cards thing. Yeah, before I got into Hearthstone, I had this recurring thought. I want to play card games again. I, it felt so good. It was so much fun hanging out with people. And Hearthstone got launched and was a perfect opportunity. And gladly, it's an eSport right now. And that's just huge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you got chickens here, man. <laughs> you guys you guys are missing this, yeah, but there are chickens This is better than the game, man. I'm going to take a picture. In the apartment. <laughs> Sneaky Lothar. They're, they're really trying to spice up the, the atmosphere of the tournament. Um... Wow, that's awesome, man. They went away, man. No picture. Anyway, let's get back to the uh, game. Yeah, this Merc guy wants to come down. So three, four, yeah. I think he can set up a two-turn lethal here with Flame Tongue as well. <laughs> because if you go for the Merc guys, they'll have six damage next turn. Or I guess maybe you'll pick yeah. one of the Merc guys. But then you have the Flame Tongue with Alec here. Just pop everything. No, you fill up your bar, though. I don't yeah. think you totem. Every single of them just, just the gives you plus, plus two attack. So this Did is play basically... The yeah, so that way you get the damage in now plus the Alakir. You can Alakir Flame Tongue next turn. Why wouldn't you want the damage now, though? Uh, so that way, because you need to put him at like low 20s, and then... You don't need to, but yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Right, right. Because now you have lethal. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a lot of damage. 16, mm. 21 plus Alakir. Yep. 31 yep. damage. If only he had Wild Pyromancer, he could clear the board. Oh, sweet, bro. <laughs> well, that wraps up game two, and Toyd is up 2-0. You know, Artie is looking a little stressed, man. He Everything was perfect it. for him. He was feeling good. He hit number one on Legend. He's still <laughs> number one Legend in EU. Yeah. And uh, he was getting some good positive feedback on his casting. He ate a nice dinner that's had chili and corn. I have to take a picture Yeah, they of made that. a huge yep. bowl of uh, chili, right? They did. They did. Oh, him, yeah, two and, him and Raydan made out in the closet. Oh, chicken, really? Chicken. Did you take a picture? Yeah, yeah I got one. No, I didn't, but yeah. uh, out of respect. Rina, what? Better if you didn't <laughs> hear that. And look at that, man. He got his lips all puckered up only to get slapped by Toyota. And here is the, the series score 2-0 in favor of the German player. Now, a lot of people don't really think about Toyota and top German players. They think about 6-0. They think about Ecop. Farmir is really on the up and coming. Yeah. Uh... Is there any of the Germans that I'm missing that are obvious? Life coach. Life coach, of course. Yeah, of course, life coach. <laughs> um, and those are the players that they consider as top ones, but they don't they don't think about Toyota that much. Uh, but you know, really actually, under the, under the radar though. RDU versus Toyota is a rematch from the grand finals of the HyperX Invitational, and that was a really close match because I remember that Toyota was the only player along with RDU to actually bring Handlock to the tournament. Uh -huh. And that was like the big metagame call because no one was playing Handlock at the time. Everyone thought Handlock was really weak. In what meta? Huh? In what meta? In the meta where <laughs> Hunters... 
I think hunters and shamans were really powerful because shaman was trying Shams to beat the hunter, yeah, yeah. and then like handlock was considered weak. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, uh, game number three is about to begin. I think druid versus priest is going to be really interesting, Lothar, because we were talking. <laughs> Who's favorite in this matchup? Yeah, I was talking that druid is always favorite. Unless druid's always favorite. Unless you're playing ignite stack. Not ignite stack, but the, the one I played. My priest is actually very heavily teched for the druid matchup. See, so I don't think priest is that bad against druid. I think it's it depends on the list, definitely. Priest. Right, right. Because right. priest can go so many ways. The thing about priest, and it has always been like this about priest, you can counter literally anything if you if you make your list tailored for it. You can counter right. literally anything, and it's going to be really effective. But um, you can't counter everything. Exactly. Though. So you, sometimes you're really weak to certain yeah. things. Yeah. When you set it, you set a purpose for your priest. It's going to work out. But if, uh, if you deviate from that, it's going to be really it's hard. It's funny because I feel like it's almost like an even more polarizing version of Warrior. Because Warrior is in the same way, too. Warrior is like one of the classes where you could tech to try to beat almost anything. Except maybe Not Druid. as much, I would say. Druid? You can, no, you no, can if you go more mid-range. Warrior. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, yeah, can, yeah. you can beat Druid but if versus you go... Druid is always going to be hard as Warrior. Right, but I'm saying that's the one exception. Just like, you know, Priest has like tough matchups against Handlock almost no matter what you Yeah, do. versus Warlock is right. a so, real big one. I feel like it's even more polarized sometimes. But by the way, this is a pretty good start for the Druid. Innervate and Wild Growth, and uh, denying nice. the Priest from drawing cards is huge. Well, um, the Cabal Shadow Priest will be <laughs> perfect for those two keepers. You got two Cabal Shadow Priests and two keepers. It's almost as good as it gets, really. Yeah. Because what's he doing with the keeper? Uh, Silence. Silence. Yeah, well, he has. Well, both. obviously the only option is to silence. But why does he want to do that so so quickly? He has because combo he has to go, in hand, right? Is he has he to wants? go aggressively with the board control. If you lose board control against priest, but you lose he the game. Though. So if he draws any seven, he can't play it. If, if I guess, of course, Toyda now can clear. Hmm. He can go with. Uh, I agree with it. If you pop a Belcher, because Cult is always going to be protected. Right. But otherwise, I don't know. If, I think it might be premature, maybe. I guess he also will add the second one, and he curves out on six as well. What's better, though? Like, If you're afraid that your opponent picks up the Dark Cult as buff, you would silence whatever gets buffed anyways. So like, yeah, if you played Belcher, then... Being, um, instead of being reactive, you're like anticipating it, so that's actually gotcha. better. But you give up your Innervate to do that. That's, but that's you would give up you three mana anyway for the rest of your turn. Yeah, I, guess I don't disagree with it, but... Uh, yeah, it's yeah, not no, really. You're, 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 it's a fair. It's a hard call. I like this strike. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, wow. there's the Arcanine Circle, though. I, I, I don't think you. it's that relevant. Huh? What do you want to get against a priest? A four attack minion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, a six attack minion wouldn't be bad either because then they can't shrink Meister, but he's already <laughs> used one of them. You're thinking ahead, man. As, as the game develops, six yeah. mana, six attacks are really good. The thing is, there's the Alcanite Circle combo to deal with whatever grows on the, <laughs> onto that board, but uh, it forces him to circle earlier than he, he was expecting to. It's a little bit too perfect. Oh, man. Already you no getting swipe? a very, very good lead. Now, of course, his opponent can coin Cabal Shadow Priest. Yeah. And that's something RDU hasn't really truly considered much. I think he was thinking about it, but what can you do? You can't I do think, much I about that. I think you still, still would rather cycle. Yeah, definitely. Well, now you have the Twilight Dragon coming with the Circle of Healing if you want to do it. But you, you, you're you missing a way to deal with a massive board from Druid. So maybe you will go you can, how can I how can ping? I, yeah, ping. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's pretty good, actually. And then you can Cabal next turn because the Keeper's not going to trade. And the Lore comes down or a Boom, as, as you expect from a turn 7 Druid. Mm -hmm. So that's actually very good, I'd say. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is just the, if you do go for the Alcanite yeah. play... And Next you turn ball, you're going to have a 3-5, a 4-5, and a 2-4. You do end up versus losing... Versus a 5-5. Five five. You do lose, end up losing the Alcanite, though. How so? That's not the problem. To the lore? Oh, yeah, you're saying playing Cabal afterwards mm. or using Circle next turn? No, you Alcanite right now and ping the Mana Storm. That's right. all. And, and next turn you Cabal it. The but yeah, and then you lose the Alcanite. He goes for the Cabal. Unfortunately, because the Ancient of Lore will be able to trade it. So. I'm not sure if I like it. Yeah, that's true. I but then you have the keeper to finish off the lore. That's what I'm saying. No, so you no, still no, keep no, your I'm cabal. Saying, like I'm saying it's really good for the druid if he loses the uh, the Akanai without being able to to circle. Yeah, to circle look really at this. Well. It's still very the good. The druid has in three turns he can go 
spawn double savage roar. Yeah, yeah he's, got he's got the double combo yeah. ready. So what he wants to do is just go face with everything now. Yep. He's got the shade right. as well. I, I I wouldn't mind if he would use the yeah. uh, mana storm just to deal f four points of damage with in this situation, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah I there guess was still the right. on board though. But, yeah, um, but the Okanai no, is not the problem. No, there was not. Never mind. Sorry. I think you wouldn't want to lose the Ancient of Lore. As what do you think much? about this turn though? Mm. Do you ping it? Yeah, I think I think if you had to choose between having a Cabal Shadow Priest or having an Akanai Soul Priest with a little bit less attack on board that's full health, you choose the Akanai, which is why Obviously, I really, yeah. I, which is why I really liked that he played Cabal first, because if he lost the Akanai to the, um, to the Ancient of Lore, he would only lose it next turn though. Mm. It this would turn be, we would still it would be able still to be really awkward because he couldn't kill it easily. That's mm -hmm. the problem. He would have to play Belcher, and then the uh, the Ancient of Lore goes like a four for one. <laughs> yeah, gets okay, two okay. The thought still is really weird. What do you want to get? Two refs were already He's gonna used. Blade Master, I suppose. Oh, well, oh. isn't yeah. Shade better? He can't. Who? He just wants to attack Why? the face. Now you can't clear with Alcani. It's weird. He's expecting the Cabal to die to Lore so he can ping it off. I don't think that Radu will go with that. Oh, especially with a swipe. So his logic is a 4-7 on board is better than a 3-5 on board remaining. think so. At the end of the turn. Because he's most likely going to try to kill off this mm. uh, Ancient of Lore. So Radu, if, if Radu go, um, will go face, yeah. then we'll see the Belcher from Toy the next turn. That's like a given. He has to. Because Radu will telegraph a combo with going. Yeah. Even if he doesn't want to use the combo right now, he wants to use it in two turns. So, you know, the Belcher will come down anyway. Other options are to drop the Shade of Nexramus and use the Swipe, but then you, you're lacking one point of mana to use your hero power to clear the Cabal Shadow Priest. And you're getting to 19, which is not a big problem. Hmm. Is it super imperative to hold on to this double combo? In general, because if he he can play Savage Roar, you can deal seven points of damage now. I mean, you can leave him at seven points of life now. Uh, yeah, I, I guess right. I, th I think just this is okay, middle of the road play, or you know, maybe even innervating out shade. I'm not sure if the second Savage. I'm not sure. Still two turns using away. is good, but uh, I would have liked to see the shade on board at least. Because shade counts for more damage as well, like over two turns. Yeah. It's gonna be an extra six, yeah, five yeah, or yeah. six damage. So that's still the, the extra damage you get from Savage or number two. I think he's, he thinks he probably has time another turn to pop up the the shade because Fair the double combo turn ten anyway. I don't think it's a problem. He, he will drop the shade next turn. Yeah. So if he, but if he dropped the shade now, then he would have been able to combo next turn to potentially kill. But it's still 19, with Shade on board at 3. No, well, he, was he, he could have played Innervate Shade and then... And combo is 19 if the Assuming lore doesn't the lore, survive. Right. How do you deal with the lore? You, you got the Arcanine. Well, you don't really Priest want has to, only one option. You can give up the Gulcher, maybe? Oh, you know, Hel Holy Nova would have wrecked him, actually. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, right. He would have attacked yeah, 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 yeah. him. Okay. That yeah, makes definitely. a lot of sense. Well, there's no Shadow or Death, which is still the easy way out. Unfortunately for, um, for Toyota. And that Wild Gross is sitting dead for a while. So he goes for the board control, which I really like because that threatens, game, the, threatens the board. No, no, that's 21. Yeah, 21. No, no, he no, has 22 in 22 in yeah, 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 Wow. Lethal, lethal. That's, that's death. <laughs> Like, I, I was accounting, like, you would innervate Shade so that you have the, uh, the lethal with combo, but if he healed himself, then... He'd be out. Does Artie not see this? He should. He's just <gasps> <gasps> oh my god. Artie, No! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he, was, he was so insistent that he won't miss lethal. He was like, no, man. He's like, I would not miss lethal. He was oh, tilted man. so hard oh, by man. watching other players miss it. Oh, no. He still has right, it, right, I right. think. Now, but... here's the point. Now the rest of the game is whether or not Artie noticed he missed lethal. <laughs> And if Artyom notices, the best thing he can do is to pretend like he didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give the viewers a satisfaction. I'm staring intently. Do you circle oh. here? You just drew the circle. 
you clear the shit and pop a Belcher, maybe? Yeah. I don't think you, you have to because there's... You can uh, just ping a Belcher as well, but... Well, what's funny is, like, now it's like, well, he doesn't have combo, right? Or I guess maybe... Hmm. Oh, he, maybe he doesn't put him on combo interve, but maybe he has yeah. combo. He was, combo, he was combo so interve. fixated on the idea of oh, double like combo. Double combo yeah. Yeah. Right. Happens sometimes, though. Like, you feel so powerful with that combo, you just want to lead up but to now it. But ha now you don't have lethal, right? Uh, let's see. You I don't think you do. Let's see, if he picked up Innervay number two, would he have had it? He loses ten to clear the Belcher. Why, How much why does he ten? Have he loses seven. He loses ten, because he needs to trade a 6-2 tree and no, his No, 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 you, you, use, you use the next shade to trade for no, the you Belcher. No, trade a, a tree, it's going to be six. Shade is going to be seven. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, So you mind. keep one. Yeah. And then you attack with a face into the ooze, so that's ten damage. That's 19 dam damage. Ten damage you lose. Yeah. So you're left with 19? Yeah. So he's too short. So well, what's nice is opponent's not going to be healing. Because he is Akanai on the board. Yeah. But he's also might be dead. Oh man, if Ardium is lethal and he loses this game, 0 3, he is going to be crushed. He, is he, if he's thinking about using combo to clear, it's like that. It's like losing position. Yeah. yeah. Wow, man. This took a real big turn. So, I guess we, that, can, we that, can amend that, our that, matchup that. statement to say <laughs> this is really good against druids that miss lethal. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's just doubly like edge sword because so, it's Lothar and his teammates with RDU. Yeah. You have to be a good druid player if you want to win against Priest. Let's say that. Wow, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> ping, 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 Is ping. that lethal? That 15, he needs... Oh, man. Second That's not belcher. lethal he needs yet. Damage. But the he second belcher guarantee, guarantees that Toide will live next turn. Yeah. Even with three creatures on board. That, that circle also looks very tasty, to be honest. Yeah, now you now you use it. I, l I think this is very good. Yeah, definitely. Just clear the board for free <laughs> and drop a belcher. Make it so... Make it so difficult for your opponent to come back. Yeah, the priest won the game here. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> feel so bad for him, man. I wanted to, to ask him if yeah. he won the game. I mean, life coach, but I think he won because he is walking to the computer, right? Yeah, yeah I would guess. So. He's just rushing back, I guess. Anyway, now for your nylon bros. Well, Got a sad story here. One's man. doing all right, and one's uh, one's struggling. Too. I will have to slap him on the ash for that. Yeah, like really. Oh man, you know what? I you just have to uh, feel bad. <laughs> Everything went so right for Ardu. Again, he hit number one ranked legend earlier today, and he held it. And, uh, you know, he's also was like watching all games, making the right calls, doing some good stuff, even getting positive comments. And now he's he's probably going to get locked out of this game. There's nothing Yeah, there's no way you can get out of this. Not even Deathwing can save him. Aw, oh, come on. Actually, that's not good. That's it. Ardu missed lethal. And oh. Drops the series zero three. Oh. Oh man. Oh. oh man. Well, I, I'm curious if he even I, I, knows I'm that just, he I'm missed just it. I'm stunned. Because, like, uh, one, I was expecting Ardu to be one of the the ones to potentially go through the group. He's been playing really well in other tournaments. And two, you know, the way it happened, like Toya just. Games weren't even close on the other end. The yeah. Sh the Shaman versus Mech Mage was really one sided. Yeah. Druid versus Priest was really one sided. And then, what did we start off with? Uh, Shaman, uh, Mage versus Druid. Mage versus yeah. Druid on the other end. Even if RDU won this matchup, though, it would have been pretty hard to beat the Shaman with us as Druid. Yeah, that's Fair true. Enough. That's true. Fair enough. I mean, he had a, 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 a but, uphill climb. But I'm still on top when it comes to Druid versus Priest. That's my opinion. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, we'll, we'll tally up the score at the end of the day, Lothar. <laughs> so you so, want to count uh, the matches. Still a second chance, just like everybody got one. We'll count. And, um, we'll keep count. He can make up for his mistake. Well, let's, All right. let's uh, congratulate the Toyda. Uh -oh. Our hey, already chatting it up. All right, Toyda, sit down, buddy. Hey, what's up, guys? You feeling so, good? Uh, let's talk about the fact that you're insane enough to bring mid-range Shaman to a tournament. When everyone else says the only playable Shaman is Mech Shaman, what do you have to say to that? Um, I should say that... I said the same thing, said the same thing, but then two days ago, a friend of mine, Vyra, I don't know if you guys know him. Vyra, Vyra. No, never heard, I think. He's a high legend player, he like, just like Toyda, like, I prepped with him before as well, and he was like, um, I had Demon Lock in my setup, and that's like, I'm not happy with it. He was like, well, here's my list, test it, it will work, and I tried it out, and it's just like, wow. What, what makes it work? In general, because like Shaman gets preyed upon easily by a few decks. I'm not telling you to reveal your entire strategy, I'm saying like, why do you think it's better over Demon Lock? 
It's way more consistent. In also, the meta, what you expect. Like, you expect a lot of Druid right now. And, and it's people really haven't good. prepped against Shaman, I guess. Yeah, that's also true. true. Yeah. That's Nobody other. expects Shaman. Yeah, no one expects Most Shaman. Most underrated class right now. Fair enough. And it Lava was really shock. one side the way you handled the Mech Mage. Although, uh, you know, maybe the draws weren't exactly the best for RDU. But how, how did you approach the series overall now that you lined up against RDU's decks? Um, well, I was thinking that I was said overall good matchups. Okay. How, so close? Okay. Yeah. So even, I, clo even closer, dude. Even closer, even closer. Yeah. I have to kiss you, it. You can, can lick it. You can lick you it. You can put <laughs> it. Ice cream. Okay. You eat the mic. No, I'm... Um, I thought that overall, like, RDU um, brought like 75% of the classes I prepared for. Like, that's the way I handle Conquest. I only prepare for four classes. Mm -hmm. um, that's four out of nine, man. That's pretty huh? good. Yeah. <laughs> one thing that's so interesting. So I prepared the other one. So it was 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, fair enough. Good job. Uh, one thing that was really interesting is that I heard you were talking about how you think Druid is really weak in Conquest. And yet you yes, brought it. I think it's horrible. And then you brought it. Huh? Druid? Yeah. No. Oh, you did it? doesn't have it. No, no. No. Oh, you were the playing mage. Okay, Tempo mage, mind. shaman, yeah. and no, no, no. Okay, okay. So right, anyways. You were targeting What was your druid? fourth? But I, I want you to explain uh, why you think it's weak. My fourth was hunter. Okay. Hunter. My bad. I thought you brought druid. Okay. Uh, I saw the icon wrong. Um, so Anti-druid players. <laughs> no, no. Druid. Why, why do you think druid's so no, weak in no, conquest? No, come on, bro. Druid is my favorite class, right? I have to say it up front, but <clears throat> prior to the, to the tournament, I do spreadsheets, collected all the data of the other tournaments, and basically 87% of the decks that were um, played in Conquest, four decks were Rogue, Druid, Hunter, and Mage. Yeah, definitely. So if you play Druid against the Hunter, against the Hunter, yeah. um, Perfect. if you're a faceless, a uh, face rush Hunter, you're 50-50, maybe slightly favored, depending yeah. on how good you can play it. If you play against mid-range, you get Shrekt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you play against Mage, well, if it's not the Freeze Mage, you get Shrekt. Yeah. Like Mech Mage, Tempo Mage, both Wrecked, yeah. Double Combo Druid. Then you have the mirror. Well, you have a mirror. That's not, not a good matchup, not a bad matchup, right? Yeah. It's just a neutral. Well, if that's your best matchup, it's like 50 50. Yeah, and rogue, kind of like the, the rogue versions, especially the rogue versions that like um, Mr. Yago put out, and also the, the double oil version, have pretty decent matchups against Druid. Yeah. <coughs> so. I mean, some people even consider rogue to be like heavily favored if they. Like Firebat, for example, thinks yeah. rogue is really, yeah. really good against Druid. So I but think bringing. Like if you actually, Relax. if you actually check the meta, I think bringing Druid is a horrible choice. Yeah, yeah. you're good. expecting cool. people to be prepared for it. Like, it, like, like if sure. your meta assessment is right, of course I could have. I like mean, you're 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 the one that's uh, running without it, and you're doing well so far. Uh, who who do you play on the other side? You play Nimsh Druid? and Johnny what? Druid. You play Johnny Druid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Polish qualifier yeah, player. Cool. The Polish dude. Well, man, I think uh, you're you're looking pretty on the up. Uh, I didn't really see anything noticeably wrong. I think you played it pretty straightforward. And I really like the selection of classes. Yeah, uh, yeah man, you brought Priest and you won. So. By the way, Props. did RDU tell, told you that he missed Lethal in the third game? What? You missed Lethal? Like, I, I, he I, had I, combo plus When you were 22? When he pushed with Arcanine and Blade Master without healing? Yeah, well, then you... No, he had, he had combo innervate. Oh, he okay. missed okay. it. Okay, okay. Yeah, he uh, had double combo with like really tunnel visioning on double combo. Oh yeah, like I, I made sure I don't die. Like I was one HP over normal combo. Yeah, yeah. 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 Innovate, okay. Yeah. But like I, I didn't play Ranta because he used one Innovate earlier in the game. Yeah, yeah of course. You should have. You should have. That was correct. Sad because like yeah. that was an opportunity for him to climb back potentially in the series. Yeah. And yeah. He missed it. But you know what? It, it's not. That's not your fault at all. No, it's, uh, I'm, I'm sorry for you. Maybe, maybe I know you intimidated him I, and tilted him. Oh man. No, <laughs> I, I know that feels like if you miss right. something like that, you will feel awful. He was already down to zero. Especially a guy like Artie. A lot of pressure on him. You might want to give him a hug later, as well as a thank you. I'll, I'll give him a hug. Yeah. Yeah. A Group hug, guys. BM. Emphasis on the thank you. <laughs> RDU always tells everyone else how to BM. I think it's, it's finally time to maybe it's get fitting, no, isn't no, it? No. It is. You know. He knows, too. RDU is a nice guy. Go he on. is. He's a really nice <laughs> guy, but, uh, you know, may, maybe is he rub Every it a time? Bit. What? Is he nice all the time? Almost all the time. Almost all the time. There Almost it is. all the time. Pretty close. There it is. Almost the all truth time. comes out. Congrats, Toyota. You go to the winner's match of yep. uh, our final group here that's going to be on the mainstream today. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to have more action at C-Story Cup 3. Stay tuned.